I started working here, that blank wall on the side of the museum really bothered me a lot, and I was not alone among the staff. Initially, we were planning on putting the mural directly on a panel on the wall of the building, and Jesse Cifuentes, our lead artist, talked me out of that because he said that the sun was going to be a real problem and would fade that mural very quickly over time. So we built that structure. Steve Lucchese, who's on our board, uh, is an architect, and he's the one that designed the structure. His firm, Ziegler Cooper, uh, did the full design for it. And just the structure alone livens up that Connolly Plaza more than you could possibly imagine. So having the mural as part of that structure really underscores that it becomes a major work of art. We enlisted Christina Morales and Orlando Sanchez to be our fundraising chairs. I moved here in 1962 and I've always been struck by the lack of public displays of the contributions made by specifically the largest ethnic group in Houston, which is Hispanics and of that group, Mexican Americans. There were a lot of Mexican Americans here and a lot of their history hasn't been recognized for a long time. So this is, I think this is making a big statement and this is uh, the direction we need to be going in to recognize the cultures of our beautiful city. The location of the mural, when you stand there in Connolly Plaza and look at it, you're right on the edge of downtown Houston and you see City Hall up over the top of that mural. Um, that's symbolically very important to me. It shows that the city has made a commitment to honor and to display the contributions of the, of the Mexican community here in Houston. Um, and so this is the economic and gubernatorial center of the city of Houston. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is the oldest park in the city of Houston. Uh, it's so historic that it's appropriate that a mural like this go into the most historic section of Houston. We're excited to be a uh, part of a celebration of Mexican-American history that so often gets overlooked here in Houston. And you know, this is a chance to make it a very public feature that the rest of the city can celebrate with us. It's not just important, it is impressive how big that that mural is, and the architect of it is this gorgeous yeah, it's a nice sculpture, sculpture piece that, yeah. in the middle of this historical, I mean, it just shines, and that it, it will become a teaching tool, along with every, everything yeah. else that's here. I think it's fitting. So, so once someone comes through the Heritage Society here in Houston, and uh, they visit Sam Houston Park, they will be able to see a part of their inheritance. Understanding what their Mexican-American descendants have given to shape the city is important for both Houstonians and visitors alike. The first wave of Mexican immigrants were fleeing a violent revolution. They came here and filled important roles on the railroads, at the growing port of Houston. We honor those contributions, plus things that are important to the Mexican-American community, like family and education. There are lots of specific people included, from groundbreaking public servants like Lionel Castillo, war heroes like Macario Garcia, cultural icons like Lydia Mendoza. All of those subjects are crucial parts of Houston history, and it's just really great to see so many folks step up to make this project a reality. Some people just immediately were drawn to this project and um, didn't even blink an eye and, and wrote us a check. It's something we've been looking for a chance to be a part of and to, to be a part of that heritage at the Sam Houston Park is, uh, is just a real opportunity for us to try to express 
our appreciation and, uh, and share it with the city of Houston. We exceeded our expectations and it was, uh, uh, we were oversubscribed, we're thankful to Houston. Houston is very, very uh, willing to give to good causes, historical causes, and uh, the, the philanthropy in this city, whether it's good times or bad times, is absolutely phenomenal. So I thank all the contributors, I thank the Heritage Society and the board for allowing and having the vision to make this mural come to fruition. Thank you.